But first, new claims from the confessed killer in the Bucks County murders. What Cosmo DiNardo said that now has Philadelphia police investigating. And tonight, the commissioner spoke only to Eyewitness News about the investigation into DiNardo's claims. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Dean. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff is live outside police headquarters with this new twist to the story. Alex. Yeah, well, DiNardo's confession was part of a plea deal that helped to spare him from facing the death penalty. But now the challenge to investigators here in Philadelphia will be trying to figure out if there is any truth to his claims of additional killings. These 90 acres in Solberry Township, Bucks County, now sit still. It is a heavy contrast to just days ago when a painstaking, mostly underground search uncovered the bodies of Dean Finicaro, Tom Mio, Mark Sturgis, and Jimmy Patrick. But as the investigation on this property has concluded, another has begun now in Philadelphia. I'm sorry. Why did you do it? Eyewitness News has learned that along with confessing to killing the four young men, 20-year-old Cosmo DiNardo also told police that he's the person responsible for killing at least two more people in Philadelphia in the last five years. Uh, we'll look at it and, and see if it has any validity to it, and then we'll pass it on if it uh, has any nexus to any other uh, jurisdictions. Police Commissioner Richard Ross says that he is unsure exactly where the department is in terms of this investigation. No further information on the nature or probability of the alleged killings was available. Anytime we hear an allegation of that magnitude, we have a responsibility to investigate it. A peer that DiNardo described as his cousin, 20-year-old Sean Kratz, has also confessed to assisting with the murders of three of the four missing men. Now, it should be noted that DiNardo does have a history of mental instability, at one point being committed to an inpatient facility by his own family. So while police will be investigating these claims, they will need to find some evidence to back them up. Reporting live from police headquarters, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.